Good afternoon. Can everyone hear me? So before I start, I want to ask, who here doesn't like books? One, two, three. Oh dear, there's a lot of hands. Because I wrote a book for my final presentation, and I hope you guys all like it. This book I wrote is called Memory Book of the Summer. I am the author, I am Jasmine Zhang, and thank you for the introduction. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 17 years old, and I am a rising senior at Mass Community Charter School. As you all know, I love K-pop. It's awesome. <laughs> I am known as Mama Jasmine, mommy number two in the family, because I have three younger siblings, and they're all my little babies. And today I'll talk to you about the prologue, how I came into this internship, my experiences at this internship, my community idea, and what I would do in the future. Prologue. We always have to start with the prologue. It's the beginning of the book. If you don't read it, how are you going to know what's the rest of the book, right? So the, my expectations. Coming in, I found out about Wesco Fellows because my guidance counselor filled out, sent out an email about the internship. I looked at it, and I did some research. It <clears throat> employed five pillars of success, and I thought that could help me. I could use those pillars, and I could go ahead. I could make my future a success. So I applied, and I got in. When I came in, I didn't really expect much. I thought it was work, learn, go home, and money, get money. But eight weeks later, now that I'm here, I realized that all of these things are really valuable lessons and not many people have, to access, have access to this, to all these amazing lessons and opportunities that I've been provided with. Chapter one, experiences. There's always the bad news and the good news, right? Don't you all want the bad news because the good news buries the bad news? So what I did was I talked about the bad stuff first. <laughs> Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. It's a book that talked about all the injustice in the US criminal system. It's not that the book wasn't, wasn't good, it's just that it was so annoying because it was really irritating when all the injustice prevailed over the truth. And that was really making me upset to the point that I almost threw the book across the room. It could land over there for some reason. <laughs> but I really enjoyed the book because it was really fascinating and I learned things that I wouldn't learn in class. And this is the kind of stuff that I would have to learn and going to law school. And I'm not going to law, so I can just learn it from the book. And effects of the Alaphilly trips. We went to New York City and Washington, DC. In both of these trips, we had they were on Wednesday. So the presentations were always on Thursday. And we only have like usually three days to work on presentations. No time. No time at all. Because the pres when we come back, it's usually 10 or 11, and it's really hard to work on making a great presentation for the next day. That was not that fun. And going to Washington, D.C., it takes three hours. Three hours compared to two hours to New York City. I can only sit for two hours. I cannot sit for three hours. <laughs> I don't like three-hour trips, I learned. And yeah, that's not good. But despite all those little bad episodes, there were good stuff. Cash flow is one of my favorite things. It's a game that teaches financial literacy, and I learn how to invest my money and how to manage my money wisely. <laughs> so <clears throat> through this game, it taught me a lot, and it taught me things that I probably wouldn't have learned just by listening and reading. It gave me like a ha certain hands-on ex experience with it because I can play, and that's always fun because it's game. So I can learn through that. And networking. West School Fellows provided me so, so many opportunities to connect with different people. I met new people, and I was able to hear their stories and their inspirational words that helped me do what I want to do. And I thought, they're great people. I should run after my dreams too. But even though we met so many, the people... I would say that the people I love the most from networking and connecting is my West Coast fellows and the coordinators. Because when I first came in, I didn't know what to expect. But as the weeks go by, I realized that they're all unique and they're all 
great people. I became friends with them. I didn't talk much at first, but you know. But I <clears throat> gradually gained to know them. And as I said before, I just turned into a little la young girl last week. And it's just really hard to say because I'm not very expressive, but just a great people. Chapter two, community. With all these things that I learned, I thought about what I could do to improve the community. My first thing is financial literacy. Philadelphia has a high rate of poverty. And I knew that financially, we need to get better. I only knew a little bit about financial pro <clears throat> about finances what, before coming in, but after learning and after s spending so much time here, I learned this much. That distance and this distance is actually much bigger. But so to do that, I would start going to libraries or even at school and start bringing, teaching people financial literacy, how to better use credit cards, debit cards, and manage their money so they can be financially stable. And since I am the next generation, I will have to <clears throat> lead and people around me will have to lead. So by doing so, Philadelphia will not be in poverty in the future, but will grow into a healthy community. And West Gold, I plan to come back next year to give critiques on Thursdays because I think this year our class is an amazing class and we're so good that I don't think that any other class will match up to me. So I'll come back next year to see how they do. Maybe they'll be as good, maybe not. And the epilogue. On our West Coast book, at the very edge, at the bottom, these are the quotes. We'll see you at the top or from the top. I plan to be at the top because with all these lessons, I'm going to take them, use them, and then go to the top because at the, that will show that I've improved. I've changed as a better person and I know how to use these lessons to my advantage. And I will be there at the top, not only, to, not only at my peak, but I can also help people who don't have those qualities or those lessons and to bring them to the top with me. So I, everyone at the end will be at the top. <clears throat> And a review, I told you a little bit about myself. I am mama number two, Mama Jasmine. My first impressions of West Gold, my least favorite experiences, my most favorite experiences, how I plan to give back to the community, my goal to come back next year, and uh, my plan to be at the very top. And before I end, I want to say thank you to Mr. Burnett and WPFSI for, provide, for making this internship possible. Mike, Tristan, and Sandra for being great coordinators and for leading us. Bridget, Tim, and Brielle for leading Teach to the Core and giving us Just Mercy, a great book. I recommend you guys read it, just the last thing. And to everyone who I did not personally announce, thank you very much. You, are, you guys are amazing people and thank you for your stories. I'm Jasmine, thank you for your time.